Okay, let's move on to the next one. Um, this is going to be the integral of 3 over x cubed plus 2x to the 3 halves minus 1 dx. Okay. Um, and all of these problems, by the way, at least in my book, um, have parentheses around them like this. Um, basically, the, the reason that they do that is so that you know that the, the integral or antiderivative notation, which is this thing here and the dx, apply to this whole problem. I leave them off because um, I feel like it's fairly obvious. So if you have parentheses like this in your book, um, don't worry about it. It doesn't change anything. But we'll go ahead and leave them there for now. Okay, so the first thing um, that we want to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and change this first term to a non-fraction um, so that we can deal with it more easily. And you'll recall from last time the rule that we had. Um, if you want to move something from the denominator to the numerator or vice versa, you simply change um, the, the sign on the exponent. So this is a positive 3. We would change it to a negative 3 to move it to the top. Um, so we're going to say 1 over x to the third is the same as x to the negative 3. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to change this to be 3x to the negative 3 plus 2x to the 3 halves minus 1 dx. Now we can take it term by term. So we're going to go ahead and do this term first. We write dx down here. And we're going to add 1 to the exponent. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And then, as always, divide the coefficient um, on this term divide, uh, by the new exponent. So it's going to be 3 over negative 2, um, negative 3 halves. I should, I should write this out here. Um, negative 3 halves, 3 over negative 2. So um, there's the new term there. Uh, then we want to say, apply to this term, um, x. Um, 3 halves, we want to add 1 to this exponent. So um, 3 halves, let's do this over here, 3 halves um, plus 1 um, might not be uh, immediately apparent. Um, the way that we, that we deal with that, um, 1 you can change to 2 over 2, so that the denominators here are the same and you can easily add them. 2 over 2 is obviously 1. So um, we change this to be uh, the same as the denominator here, so we can easily add them. Um, so the result there is 3 plus 2, 5 halves. So adding 1 to this exponent gives us 5 halves. And then um, divide the coefficient here, 2 over the new exponent, 5 halves. And we'll deal with that later. And then minus um, the antiderivative of 1, is always x, as we know, and then of course plus c for a constant. So we have uh, our antiderivative written out, but we need to simplify some things. We've got a negative exponent here, we've got um, 2 over a fraction, so we want to make this um, simpler. So what we're going to do, um, we shouldn't have a negative exponent in our answer, so we're going to use that rule, move this to the bottom, um, and change the sign on the exponent. So we're going to have negative 3 over 2x squared. We moved the x to the negative 2 to the denominator and just changed the sign on the exponent. So this term is now simplified. Um, then we're going to say plus 2 over 5 halves. Whenever you have 2 over a fraction like this, um, the way to deal with this easily is to, um, instead of dividing by a fraction, is to multiply by the inverse of that fraction. So instead of 2 over 5 halves, you can do 2 times 2 over 5. And that's easier, um, that's easier to do. You can call this 2 over 1. So then you just multiply uh, the, top, the tops together, the numerators together, and the denominators together. So this is going to be 2 times 2 is 4 over 1 times 5 is 5, so 2 over 5 halves, um, instead of dividing by a fraction, multiply by the inverse of that fraction, 
and you get the answer four fifths. So we're going to change this coefficient here to four fifths. Um, x to the five halves is fine. Minus x is okay, and then plus c. So this is our simplified answer here.